Hi, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're going to look at the SBS Designs isolating system right here. This is the ISO Q2. This is a frequency isolation system. Uh, I did a little video on it before as I was playing with it. And the idea was I wanted to uh, play with it a little while to be able to do a really good demo with it and be able to dazzle everybody with my skills of mixing and using an isolator. Well, isolators are very, very cool and we're going to see that today in our video. The problem is, is that you've got to have a level of skill and competency with doing that. I'm not there. I'm not that type of DJ. So for me, I was doing it and it's like, you know, all I'm doing is really just embarrassing myself pretty much because I'm not that type of DJ. Now, what I did find is some cool things with it, and we'll go through those as I'm going through, but for the guys who want to see how you can take two decks, because I had my two Pioneer decks out, and I was doing some mixing with that, and I could do some cool things with it to a point, but my cool things and what someone with some skill and spends more time with it blows me out of the water. So I wasn't even going to go there and really try to compete with that. I'm going to show you the functionality of it, and I want you to use your imagination. If you're that type of DJ who would be able to incorporate this into your show, this is a fabulous tool, and you're going to be able to be really creative with it. So I'll show you kind of what it can do, and you take it from there. So let's take a look at the ISO Q2 backside. We're looking at the backside of the ISO Q2 here from SBS Designs. It is designed where you can come from the board, you can jump out with a send receive, or as I'm going to be doing it today, I'm literally running full range in and then back out again with RCAs. You can do that running full range in, the full sound in with uh, your XLRs and, and bounce back out with that and head off to your powered speakers. You can do some different things with looping and you've got your return, your FX return, your send and return so there's there's a lot of functionality for the guys who are incorporating this into their shows they're doing multiple decks the send receive type or send return functionality is going to be big um, that's what I hooked up when I was playing with uh, multiple decks it was cool I'll, I'll give you that but I'm not not there yet and we also of course have an output gain which is kind of a cool feature because sometimes uh, the signal coming out on the send receive may not be hot enough. You can give it a little bit more or if it's too hot you can cut it down so you can get the system all balanced. And again, it's, this is one of those things you're practicing with. You're not just taking it, throwing it in your system and going out to the field. You're practicing. You're designing loops with it. The guys who are doing this are practicing hours in advance to make that five minute set so or ten minute set. So this is the back side. You've seen the inputs. Let's put some music to it and kind of take a look and see what it can do. So we're playing the song Caribbean Queen by Billy Ocean here as our little demo song. Could have used a lot of different songs, of course, but I figured this is kind of cool because it's got this kind of this sexy bass line that I want to focus on. So we have our high, oops, excuse me, high, mid, and low. These are the complete cuts. What I mean by that, literally, you can completely shut off the sound on any one of these three, these three uh, equalizer settings. So we want to just focus on the bass. Let me give you a little more volume here in this speaker. Now, on the left, you'll see another little knob. This is kind of adjusting the frequency. We can take it up, and you hear I'm getting more vocals. Or I can take it down and just get that bass line. So if I were having this hooked up and running one channel through the ISO, the ISO Q2, and I had a second channel playing, I could literally just focus on the bass from one song, cutting off everything else, and be able to mix the bass, the bass line, over the other song. Now let's take it. We're back up. We're going to do the same thing with the highs. I'm going to turn it all the way up. We can do adjustment of where that frequency, if we're going to look for just the highs, we can find it with this of where we want to be. Now this particular track doesn't have a great high, but it has a really cool bass line. That's why I wanted to do it. So as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility. For the guys who are really creative in their mixes, the ISO Q2 is going to be a fabulous tool. No bass, no mids, and no highs. Now we're just going to go everything straight up again. 
I'm going to turn this down to the lower frequencies. I'll leave that one alone. And I'm going to kind of take the bass up a little bit. And what's really kind of cool about this is this is like an equalizer on steroids. I'm able to give that bass a little bit, a little bit more of a bump here, a little bit more of a hit at those low frequencies. So just as a standalone equalizer running the full signal through this, I can adjust that and get a little bit more hit on the kick drum as opposed to having the whole, the whole bass frequencies, all of them boosted. I can really focus in just on a kick drum. So that was a brief look at the SBS Designs ISO Q2. This is an isolator, frequency isolator. For the guys who are creative and, be, and do the mixing and such, this could be a fabulous tool. For someone who wants a very high quality equalizer that you can do some adjusting on the fly with, this could be the tool. Very simple to use, but very effective and the sound out of it going in and out is incredible. It's, this does not have any any problems with uh, distorting your sound or adding things that you don't want added. But I think overall for the right DJs this is a fabulous device. You're going to really have some fun with this. Price wise I found this online uh, well over a thousand dollars. Somewhere between that one thousand to two thousand dollars. This is not a, a tool for the casual DJ. This is for the guys who are serious about making some unique mixes to their style or having that control, the level of control to be able to cut out frequencies and do some weird weird effects. This can do some some pretty cool stuff if you're creative. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. This is the ISO Q2 from SBS Designs. This is John Young with the Disjockey News.